guys, welcome to another campus update with Inside Swoop. I'm Grace Donnellan, here to bring you up to date with what's going on this week. On today's show, we will be covering things to do during spring break. For those who stay in town during breaks, don't worry, there are plenty of things to do. One fun place to go is Beaches Rock Gym in Atlantic Beach. Beaches is a climbing gym that offers multiple different types of climbing, including bouldering, auto belays, as well as board climbing. The routes have a wide range of difficulties from beginner to advanced, so no matter what your skill level is, the walls will have something for you. In addition to climbing, Beaches offers a variety of drinks and snacks customers can purchase and enjoy in one of Beaches' many seating areas around the gym. Another fun place to go by the beach is Jarbo Park. Jarbo is located in Neptune Beach and offers lots of different activities for people of all ages. Jarbo is home to a beautiful lake, a playground for kids, and plenty of seating scattered throughout the park. For those who enjoy exercise, Jarbo has a path that runs around the entirety of the park and has numerous different workout stations that park goers can utilize. For those who prefer sports, Jarbo has basketball, volleyball, tennis, and pickleball courts located across from the playground. Further down in South Florida lies the city of Stewart, a quaint beach town offering various outdoor activities to enjoy during break. Every Sunday in downtown Stewart, Flagler Park hosts a farmer's market from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We sent our reporter Jessica Morales to check it out. Hey there, Ospreys. Let's check out the local farmer's market. There's live music playing for people to enjoy while they're doing their shopping. There are vendors along the sidewalk selling their items and also artists promoting their artwork. How has the market helped you as a vendor? The market, uh, it provides me a, basically a location where I can display my products and uh, I pick up a lot of return customers here. So uh, we're not so much selling, uh, let's say, a tourist attraction. We're, uh, we sell condiments to folks that come by every couple of weeks. So after a while, we actually get to know them. This is more like a family than it is a, a market to me. Aw, have you uh, gained new relationships with other people here? Absolutely, absolutely. It's a number of folks. Dean across the way that does the art. Uh, Lisa that makes the bags. The woman next to us makes outstanding uh, woven bags. Um, Hollywood down the way, he's always fun to be around. So yeah, it's been a, it's been a fun occasion. There's also space to sit and just enjoy the sun with your family if you'd like to take a break from the walking. The farmer's market brings out a variety of vendors who come together to join the community in downtown Stewart. Jessica Morales, Inside Stewart. In addition to the outdoor market, Stewart is home to beautiful beaches along the Treasure Coast. Nestled away along the back roads of Hutchison Island is Santa Lucha, one of Stewart's hidden beaches. Accessible via a trail that leads to refreshing waters, this beach is perfect for a day of boating, kayaking, or simply lounging by yourself. Remember to pack essentials like sunscreen, a towel, and flip-flops for a safe and enjoyable beach outing. After visiting Stewart, let's take a trip down south to I-95 to Miami Beach to visit the Grand Beach Hotel. Home to breathtaking views and a different vibe in Miami Beach, the Grand Beach Hotel caters to guests of all ages. There are three pools on site, and one of them is for adults who want a quiet getaway. The lobby holds a bar, a little cafe for some light fare, coffee, pastries, or ice cream, and a bistro for guests who want to stay close for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Don't worry, the Grand Beach Hotel has direct beach access for those who want to enjoy the waves. What a better way to kick off a weekend in Miami than to visit Coke Korean Steakhouse in the Miami Design District. Adding a trendy twist to classic Korean barbecue, Coat offers a delectable menu including local seafood and prime cuts of steak. Everything is recommended to share with the table, with the most popular item being the steak omakase, also known as the Grand Tour, serving cuts from every part of the cow. That can also be paired with the Butcher's Feast, best for guests who want traditional taste of sides and a savory paella. Make sure to pair your steak with a glass of red wine for the best results. Well, that's another edition of Inside Swoop. Tune in next time for more campus information. I'm Grace Donnellan, and thank you for joining me on Inside Swoop.